Good morning, how are you doing? I am doing a lot better than I was in the last vlog that you saw. I actually was losing my mind ever so slightly that week. It's a bit of a weird vlog, one that I hope to never watch back <laughs> because I was having a bit of a breakdown. However, I've taken a few days, I've readjusted. I'm feeling much better. Today we are going to be running some errands. I have got some boring things to sort out, the kind of things that you saw when you move, however temporary. There will not be a renovation update of any kind in this vlog, which I am actually quite happy to tell you, but not happy because it's just because the work is progressing very, very slowly, which is not really ideal, but we move. I actually thought today whilst we're running errands and doing boring things I would take advantage of that and it's a Sunday. I don't really have many plans apart from eating a roast dinner later and trying to go on a very long walk to get some steps in because I was on the spritzes yesterday so I feel like I just need to walk it out. I don't have any plans so I'm gonna go into Brighton and kind of like browse a little bit. I have not been shopping in person maybe since spring, if you don't count London and you know, but like shopping in Brighton in person since like the springtime. So I'm very much looking forward to this. I used to do this all the time when I was a kid. This used to be my Sunday routine was get up early, get dressed, go into the center of Brighton, shop, get a Starbucks, <laughs> living my best life. I didn't really realize back then. I also didn't realize that that would continue well into my adult life. But anyway, that's what we are going to be doing today. I have popped on a nice dress because it's very warm. We're having like a little late heat wave, which always is the way down here. And I am not mad about it. It's prepping me for Ibiza and I'm loving that. So yeah, I popped on this dress. I'll show you in the mirror, it's from Zara. I can't lie to you. I just about fit into this dress. <laughs> this will not be coming to Ibiza with me because when I get on that plane, I blow like crazy and yeah. This dress is nice and fitted now, but it will be like popping by the time I get to Ibiza. So I'm making the most of this in our little mini UK heat wave. It's just a gorgeous blue, like it looks like it could be denim, but it's not. Just a gorgeous blue dress with a halter neck, which I love. I just love a halter neck. I don't know if I actually have like the right build for it. I always got told if you have wide shoulders that halter necks were bad, but I genuinely love a halter neck on me. And it's got a little slit at the front, but nothing crazy. Just popped on my black sliders. I've got a little black bag and then just very simple gold hoop earrings, Raimi necklace, Astrid and me ring, and then Monica Vinader bracelets. And then the bang was an Etsy one. And that is my outfit of the day. I like it. It's very, very comfy. Fragrance of the day is Cafe Rose by Tom Ford. I am obsessed with this at the moment. I'm also obsessed with these flowers. How cute are they? My friend has so many in her house and she gave me them. They're so gorgeous. I'm so happy with them. She gave me the biggest bunch and I split them over like three vases and I'm obsessed. We haven't done a driving montage in a while, have we? I feel very nostalgic. It's like when I lived in Brighton. First things first, I am going to hit up H&M whilst I'm here because I really struggle, it's a very angry child, I really struggle to shop online in H&M. I just, it's quite hit and miss. Sometimes you find the most incredible things and then sometimes you order things and you're like, no, how are you charging for this? This is not nice. So I wanna go and see things IRL. I mean, the stock in Brighton is always terrible, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see. I never do it. I never go into H&M in Brighton. I always normally shop online because the stock is better, but am I getting old? I don't know. I want to like shop in person. I wanna see things, I wanna touch things. The materials matter and it bugs me so much now doing big orders of things and just sending so much stuff back. I actually haven't done a Zara order in so long because of that, because it annoys me to no end. So I picked up a few bits for my holiday recently and before that I didn't get anything since like July. I'm gonna say that and then someone's gonna be like, you definitely bought something like a week ago. But my point being, I wanna go feel things and try things on, so let's go. Shock, Zara is the only shop open this early, so here we go. Zara forever remaining at the most humbling changing room experience. <laughs> Bye. So I liked this waistcoat, but I cannot find the matching trousers for the life of me. So this might be a no. I thought it was cute. I also am trying on this denim midi skirt, which is more of a maxi skirt on me. I can't decide if it's a bit too long. Look at that. That's insane. It needs to sit like way higher on me, I think. So I need a smaller size and they don't have it. What do we think on this jacket? 
I'm tempted to try an aviator again this year and I feel like this one's a little bit different and very cute but let me know what you think. I'm obviously not going to buy this yet because I have absolutely no need for it and I really want to like consider my jacket purchases this year but what do we think? I think it's nice, definitely worth looking at. It's very like weighty and feels cozy. It is oversized though, this is a size extra small. I also love this shirt. It's very very simple but I really like it. What do I think? There's fluff everywhere in this shop. It is in my eyes. It's me. Okay, it's good to get that out of my system. Next stop, H&M. Here we go. Autumn things, autumn thing. Oh my god, they've got the totem dupes. Amazing. I'm so surprised that the workwear section is the biggest section in H&M. Yeah, we don't have any of the premium stuff in our store. That is wild to me. Love this, I've seen this online, just so sad because I look like a doll and stuff like this. Found a few nice bits, none of the bits that I have been after on the website unfortunately, but let's go and try these on. They're a little bit long, but what do you think these grey trousers? I've never liked grey trousers before, but I really like the fit of them. It's so hard to tell because the lighting in here is so bad. These could be cute with like a tank top, not with this cardigan, but with like a little tank top a gray knit like a different gray color but i'm i'm not sure do they need to be lighter maybe maybe i need like a lighter gray however i do like this little button down cardigan you can throw it on over your shoulders as well what do we think ignore the entire outfit altogether because it's giving workwear okay i love this skirt this was not one of the items that i came in for but i have been really wanting like a silk maxi skirt this is meant to be a midi obviously i love it i'm obsessed and i also really like that you can if you get a larger size like this one's a bit too small to do it but you could pull it up have it as a dress i also really like this shirt i think it works really nicely as like a cold is it a bit too too much material for me maybe but if you do like more relaxed like flowy modest styles i think this could be like a really nice combo i really love this shirt but i just don't know if i'm going to get the wear out of it i know i'm gonna wear the skirt so much like i think this skirt with like a white waistcoat would look so nice but alternatively just a really simple like tank top would look so good so i get so much wear out of this but i love this i'm just not sure what do we think i can always order these things when i get home if we change our minds but yeah i love the skirt this is what i meant about turning your kind of like maxi midi slip skirts into dresses it's basically a more affordable way to get the reformation silk dress that I have so definitely check this out if you want like the navy version I'm sure they also do different colors of this you can probably find them online yeah I don't know I think I probably need like a small and not an extra small in order for it to fit better it just looks a little bit too tight if I got a small I could also wear it as a dress oh my god guys they have Ad and Lola in flannels in Brighton if you want to come try some bits on they have it I have this set so cute. When Cos comes through with the fitting rooms, with the good lighting. I have been on the hunt for a cashmere black jumper that's like not too thick for so long. I'm so excited. Now I'm torn which pair of trousers we like better. I feel like these just something about them that's really slimming at the waist. This top as well, so nice. And this little, I've wanted this for ages, just this little jersey throw on thing. You see the vision now, this was, this is what I wanted. This is so nice. Also, love this one. Love it, it has a little finger thingy, so nice. It's perfect. It is perfect, perfect softness, perfect thickness, perfect length when it's not tucked, perfect fit. Tucks really nicely. Yes, this is coming home with me. Honestly, I think this whole outfit needs to come home with me. So Do you want to tell them what you just said? Only one bag. Only one bag! <laughs> and I probably spent more than I would have if I'd brought home like three normal bags. It's a bit later. I've just brought my stuff upstairs. I've been out taking the dog for a walk and I'm just about to go for my pre-dinner stomp. If anyone suffers with bloating, I cannot recommend either a pre or a post dinner stomp. Like you walk with purpose and it always just tends to like help me out if my stomach is hurting and I'm feeling a bit bloated. So I'm gonna go do that. 
before we have our roast dinner but i am so happy with the bits that i bought i have been struggling so much this year like i think i mentioned earlier i really haven't been shopping on zara very much i changed my shopping habits a lot and i am really happy about that and i've been buying more of like mango h&m that kind of thing i tend to buy a lot less on those websites so it's really helped me like just not over order because i am always at risk of just like ordering everything on zara the chokehold that that brand used to have on me i mean we'll see as we go into autumn i might eat my words but yeah today i was just like i i don't love the quality of things this is why i'm not shopping at zara and other high street stores a lot more now and i do spend more on the things that i do buy is because i just feel like the quality has nosedived over the past few years and now i feel like i'm having to go to maintain the quality of clothing that i like to purchase i feel like i'm having to go like a level up so i'm having to look at like and other stories a lot more which you will have noticed over the past i feel like 2020 was really like my i love and other stories year and since then i've just absolutely loved it and cos is a new one for me cos is like how i used to feel about h&m but the lovely thing about those stores as well is i don't i don't want to buy too much like i bought four things from cos was it extortionate yes yes it was i spent probably just as much on those four items as i would have spent on some zara bits like a whole order of zara bits back in the day back in the day at the start of the year but i just i'm so excited about them i feel so happy with them i am just gonna keep them forever like i just know i'm gonna get the wear it's not like i'm not sitting there thinking oh i really like that like dress i bought i wonder when i'll wear it you buy things and you know that you're gonna wear them i'm not even wondering when i'm gonna wear it next because i just know that it's going to get worn so much i'm so happy about the jumper as well because i can't tell you how long i've been looking for a black cashmere jumper. Those of you that watched the What I Wore in a Weeks will know I love my grey cashmere jumper. I, that was a great Zara find from 2021, maybe? It can't have been 2020. No, it was 2021. A gem, a rare gem. And I am obsessed with it. I love it. I will take care of it. I will wear it even when I'm like a granny. You probably will have to bury me in it. Love, love, love. I've got so much wear out of it over the past few years. And I've been waiting for Zara to release a black version ever since. It's never happened. So I was so excited when I walked into Cos and I was just like, just kind of browsing. I saw a couple of bits that I liked, but when I saw that, I was like, <sighs> amazing. It's like the perfect thickness. And a lot of the black cashmere, I have black cashmere knits, you know, like chunky knits. I don't want something chunky. I want something that's like, I can wear it in the summer, in the evenings, over like a dress when I'm bloody freezing down the beach, but I can also wear it in the winter. I'm just so happy with it. I'm so like even today i know that like after dinner i'll probably throw that knit on with just like my active set it's just going to be one of those like a useful practical but lovely stunning item of clothing and i'm so happy with the trousers as well like the quality of them is amazing gonna take them up they'll be super easy to take up i just couldn't resist the vest top it was so nice and like thick but still comfy but not like unflattering because it's too thick you know what i mean so yeah i just absolutely love that and then the gray little knit thing i was like this is just gonna be unreal for like layering this kind of like in between weather that we just always have this time of year and the whole thing just worked together but i was like this is gonna work so separately as well there's so many different ways in which i can like style up this and i love that I'm so happy with those bits but it is a shame that i i feel like now we have to spend so much to get the same quality as we were able to get on the lower end of the high street a few years back it's just it is such a shame and i'd love to know if any of you are finding this as well like for me maybe it's just as i have been purchasing more from more like mid-range brands i've noticed a, a difference in the quality and now I'm, a, I'm more aware of it i don't know i feel like reformation was the nail in my coffin because that brand i would buy everything i would wear everything if you gave me an entire closet of reformation clothing i, would, I don't think i'd ever buy anything ever again it, they just do the best stuff like sometimes when i need styling help i actually just go on the new in section of the reformation website and i don't buy anything but i just look at how they're styling things i just love the whole vibe but yeah that is why i am not really just i'm just not really shopping on the high street but also in big chunks anymore i'm so i'm just becoming very picky about what i like especially like for my everyday day-to-day -day clothing i really don't mind so much like buying from the high street when it's for my holidays but day-to-day 
I feel so fussy now and it feels so awkward because doing like clothing orders and showing you what's new used to be such a big part of my channel and I'm like how do we work around this I don't know maybe we don't yeah anyway those are my thoughts that's why I'm not really shopping I mean after the blue label on the coat situation that was another nail in the coffin for not shopping at zara but today kind of like i was like wow i don't really like anything like i liked that coat like that jacket was nice but that's as far as it went so not loving it really not loving it anyway enough boring chat let's go on my evening stomp also this is probably one of the many real grandma things that i am doing at the moment we've gone old school we are no longer wireless and i'm low-key loving it like yeah, like it's nice when your airpods don't fall out your ear. I'm not getting headphone hair. Love it. Good morning. Yeah, you? Hello, please ignore the sounds of the outside world because I I just have to have the windows open or I'm going to melt into a puddle. I am just finishing up work for the day. I've just had the most exciting package come, which I am going to do a little like unboxing. Well, it's already unboxed, but like a little try on session with you guys. Also today we are going to give the nails a refresh. I saw Amelia's nails and they're like this brown colour and I'm just feeling the autumnal vibes. I think I have a nail appointment, is it like in a week and a half? So kind of having a little switch up in the meantime, I really struggle now that I do nails to go three weeks with the same nails. So we're going to have a little switcheroo and just a little tidy up because they're just, you know when they start growing out and they're getting a little bit dry and they just need some like pushing back and stuff i might just put a different color over the top in terms of time but we'll see we'll see how much time we've got today because you know also need to go outside today because it's good for up here but i got sent clothes from like one of my all-time favorite brands anina bing i mean all-time fake very new all-time phase like i love anina bing clothes you guys will know for the past couple of years i've just loved anina bing clothes so much they have very kindly sent me some items when they asked if i would like to pick out some bits i genuinely never believed that they would actually show up so i am over the moon i'm gonna start off with the giant box because i am very excited i mean it's gonna be giving autumn i know what i picked it's giving autumn so we're gonna sweat it out today i'm gonna be a puddle regardless of whether those windows are open they sent me the most gorgeous riding boots let's pray Let's pray these fit because when I shop from like higher end brands, I find the sizing to be so different to high street. Because sometimes a five in a luxury item is not a five, like a five is like a six. So I generally find I have to go a bit more as per my true shoe size, not the shoe size that I buy. I'm like a four and a half, but I always buy a five because otherwise high street shoes murder me. But when it comes to luxury stuff, I generally sometimes a five is not quite right but we will see these are so beautiful i can't wait to try them on i think they are going to be a bit wide on my leg these could be good for girlies with wider calves i don't have wide calves so they might be a little bit loose around the top but i'm hoping there still be a vibe i think they'll be so so nice over autumn they just look like such a comfortable autumn winter boot oh, I'll wait to try this on. okay what else have we got oh i'm gonna i'm gonna die trying this on but i can't wait this is the most gorgeous chunky black knit like a regular length it will look so cool with the skirt that i am wearing it's so nice so big and chunky i got this in a size size small and i think it's just going to be like the perfect oversized black like chunky knit this is a, a few levels up from what i bought from cos at the weekend so this is definitely going to be more of a like very chilly day kind of vibe not for the in-between seasons and then they also sent me this dress this is oh my god it's so cool so it's like a slit a black slip dress with this like oh there we go velvet like zebra print which is so it's quite subtle but it's just so beautiful i think it's going to be a bit long so this might be one to wear with heels for a more special occasion but it's just so cool and this style of dress i just think really suits me so hopefully if the sizing's right 
it's gonna look really good so i got that in a size small as well i'm tempted to get this taken up just so i can wear it with a flat because i think i would wear this when i'm like away on holidays and stuff it's so cool so maybe one to have taken up just so i don't have to wear it with a heel okay let's try these on Ooh, i am gonna make this brief because this is <laughs> this is a lot right now i am obsessed with the jumper it's so nice it's gonna be my perfect like autumn winter chunky jumper i was thinking that it would pair really nicely with the skirt i think it would maybe be more better suited with a straight leg jean now that i've got it on but still cute the boots i think i could maybe excuse all my mess the boots i think i could maybe do with in a smaller size potentially so i'm gonna look into that but they are still very cute i would say maybe better paired with tights i would have put tights on i would have braved heat stroke and put tights on for you guys but i don't have any with me so this is what they look like but i do think they'd look way better with tights on i don't know if anyone else has this i just don't love seeing my knees <laughs> i don't love it or if i'm going to see my knees i prefer for my whole leg to be out i don't know what it is i don't know what it is but still a very cute look oh my god this i not only love for the respite from wearing a jumper like i actually felt unwell putting that knit on in this heat not only do i love this for the respite that it's giving me i think it's stunning it fits so beautifully it is a little bit long so i think with a heel like it would be perfect so i can't decide whether to have it taken up ever so slightly so that i can wear it with flats and take it to bali or do i keep it for a special occasion let me know what you guys think i think it would be such a gorgeous evening dress to take to bali although is that the vibe in bali like i don't really i've always wanted to go but i know nothing about it so i don't know if this is like too dressy is this too much even if i wore it with flats what do we think oh my god i just i absolutely love it the fit is insane like i actually do think i want like i kind of want to have it shortened just so i can wear it more because this needs to be brought out on every holiday not just on special occasions the f oh my god I'm obsessed i am obsessed also if i had it shortened i could maybe wear it in the winter like with a jumper over the top and have this as like a, a skirt love doing that so maybe i'll do that and then have a crop knit like over the top yeah i just feel like it's a shame to have this just for like occasions so yeah let me know what you guys think i i'm just obsessed with it so i think that might have been my first mention like some of you might be like what the hell are you talking about you're going to bali i am going to bali this year ryan is playing a show in bali i'm real and i'm going with him and i'm so nervous like i might not seem like it because i get on a lot of flights <laughs> all the time but i'm actually not the best flyer any advice any tips that you guys have i would greatly appreciate because i am so nervous like when he first booked the show i actually couldn't talk about it for i think it was like weeks weeks and weeks and i only started talking about it when i went to wimbledon and i spoke to naomi smart and that was the first time i really spoke about it because i kind of was like I want to pick her brains a little bit and I had to like admit to myself that I was going so if anyone has any advice any places to go like Bali is kind of like it's like almost a Y shape I think and we're kind of like down just at the start of the tail of the Y if that makes sense this is when it turns out Bali isn't a Y shape at all but in my head that's what I remember from having googled it if you have any tips on places to go things to do things to avoid or not do I would love any advice <laughs> that any of you are able to give me because I am I'm not okay <laughs> I'm so excited and there's no way I can not go because it's on been on my bucket list forever but I'm not okay because like you know when something happens and it's out of your control because I haven't chosen when I'm going I haven't chosen like there's so much of my choice that is taken away in this situation so I'm a little bit like okay we're doing a very like the longest flight that I will ever ever wait yeah it will be longer than Costa Rica so the longest flight that I will ever have done and it's kind of just not on my terms and if you're a bad flyer you'll know that being able to be a control freak over your flying and when you go and what you're doing and how you're doing it is very very important so yeah any advice anyone has i'd be forever grateful okay the hair has got to go up oh 
those are my things that I got from Anina Bing. I'm gonna wear something more appropriate right now and we're gonna go sort out my nails. So this is my at home setup that I've been working with. I've actually done quite a few nail appointments recently. Everyone's come back off holiday and wanted appointments. So I originally just bought a few with me and then I had to go back home and get more. But whilst I was there, I picked up a couple of brown shades. I think this is caramel from the gel bottle and then we have shot, oh, cocoa chocolate is the biab i think so i'm really tempted to go for one of these maybe this one but i also have cookie and nude from the gel bottle as well cookie looks really nice and could be a really nice autumnal nude so i'm not sure i also bought gloss from the gel bottle i think i'm gonna put this on my toes when i go on holiday i just really want to paint it all over my nails at the moment i'm really craving it but I don't know, I think I'm craving brown even more. I also bought this in hopes that someone has this at some point. Basically a glass pink, like a transparent bright pink, and it looks unreal. And then I also bought Aurora because I think these would look so good together. So kind of waiting for someone to have those. I also got sent the new gel bottle matcha color, which basically I was torn between doing this on my tips at the moment, just filing the chrome off and putting this on my tip, which could be a lot quicker, but actually not quicker because it's a French and it takes me forever. But I also got this glazed top coat, which looks so nice as well. But I don't know, I feel like the brown is just calling me. So yeah, we're gonna go for that. Also, if any of you are looking for a really nice cuticle balm, I love this. I also love the hand balm as well. In fact, the hand balm, I think I actually prefer to the cuticle balm, but I actually don't know where mine's gone. I am struggling to locate things in my house because it is just all over the place at the moment but anyway love navy and all of their things could not recommend them enough the hand balm like genuinely makes my hands look like they did when i was 15. i'm ready yeah let's just do a little brown moment see how we get on having a crisis I cannot choose a colour. I regret starting this in the first place now. I've just roughly painted it on three different colours. We've got cookie on my index finger, caramel on my middle finger, and then cocoa on my ring finger. Cocoa will be a lot darker. This will be a lot less warm once it's set, but honestly, now I can't decide. Ugh, no. Okay, brown caramel nails. What do we think? I kind of like it. Very autumnal, which is kind of nice because despite the time of year, it's so hot right now that this is the closest I'm getting to autumn on my body right now. Good morning, everybody. I left you quite early yesterday because we had a family dinner to go to and it was very chill. So nothing to vlog as per all of my family dinners. Today it is Botox day. So I have gone minimal makeup. We've got lashes, a little bit of blush just to give me some life. I've used the NARS, let me show you. The NARS Afterglow blush in Dolce Vita because it gives like a bronzy blush and it just works with my skin tone, like my actual skin tone, no foundation really well. Just gives like a nice little healthy glow i really like it and then i've done a little bit of lip liner and lip balm so literally like four products i like to do this when i go and get my botox done just so my doctor can kind of see what he's actually working with like i don't want to do my eyebrows because we use the botox to like not only freeze especially here because the muscles here are way too expressive we also use it to like give me a little bit of a lift like not like that but like it's so fractionally subtle like i don't even know if it's noticeable to anyone that's not me i love it however i don't like to do my brows before i go see him because then it kind of makes my eyebrows look like they're positioned differently and i know he's obviously a professional and can probably work around makeup but i just like them to be able to see what they're dealing with and i never put makeup on my forehead anyway because that is going to be cleansed off so all i have is SPF. Another little Raimi earring. I'm really liking this stack. This is like my signature summer stack. I always have a rainbow hoop and then a couple of Raimi earrings and then my usual opal stud. But yeah, that's all we are going for today. Oh, I have new bracelets or a new bracelet. How cute is this one? This is from Monica Vinada. It's like the this year's version of this one. They do it in loads of different colors. They do it in a green I love i think they also do it in a pink as well this is an additional charm from monica vinada which i use and i put it on like necklaces bracelets literally anything i think it is so gorgeous and i was wearing it on this one but then when this one arrived the gold matches up because the gold on this is matte 
so it just ma matched up a little bit better. New bracelet on my stack. I love my summer bracelet stack, it's so cute. But yeah, I am just about to head into Brighton to go and get my forehead frozen because it's becoming borderline hard to lie so we need to sort that out and i might get like a little star bees whilst i'm in town we'll see i can't lie i'm fully in sloth mode this week the second the temperature goes above like 21 degrees in the uk i turn into a bit of a sloth and it is very very warm at the moment so i'm kind of just like annoyingly my most unproductive self so we're just gonna like chill together today oh i did my nails yesterday i don't know if i got to show you the finished I think I showed you the finished result. It's like a brown, but it's not too dark to the point where I feel a bit like Halloween nails, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like a, a nudie brown brown, like a toffee apple kind of brown. I, I really like it. Very autumnal. It's giving like autumn leaves. This is all of the autumn that I can handle in my life at the moment. But I'm just going to enjoy these for like a week or so. And then I need to change them because I'll be going to Ibiza and these are not the vibe for my last holiday but no it's not even my last holiday of the year but these are not the vibe for vacation so we'll be changing them but really enjoying them for now oh i've got a new monica vinader ring as well i think i'll have a code potentially coming up with them at some point in the next three weeks or so so hold off hold off hopefully i will have a code but yeah i got a new ring from them as well i got quite a few new bits but this ring is just so gorgeous and i really like it it just feels very autumnal i feel like it just adds to the vibe so i'm really enjoying that okay let's go in Brighton and I have a question for you guys does anyone else get this when you're driving where you just suddenly get this urge like I need to leave I need to get out the car I can no longer be in this car anymore it drives me up the wall what is that is that some kind of claustrophobia I don't know what it is but I'll just suddenly be like I need to get out I need to get out and I can't get out I'm driving a car I'm driving a moving vehicle so yeah help me out make me feel normal does anybody else get that lol this street is just the cutest street my favorite also just went to boots and picked up an spf oh they painted the ice cream place it looks so nice i love seeing what changes here every time i come into brighton now i don't live here and come into brighton every single day but anyway picked up spf because when i go in and have my botox on he cleanses my forehead then i'm going to spend literally the rest of the day walking around with no spf on my forehead and it's basically going to undo the entire point of the Botox. Like, we want to keep it looking good at all costs. I'm walking around with SPF, not on my forehead, not going to keep it looking good. So for those of you that don't know, this is where I get my SPF done. And it's right next to my motherland, Starbucks. Oh my god. Doom. I was 10 minutes early for my appointment for nothing. It's gone. My homeland is gone. They've shut down a Starbucks. Wow, that's worrying. I am in the room. Let's say goodbye to the expression. <laughs> Every time we get halfway through, I start questioning why I do this because it hurts so much, but it's so worth it. But now I'm gonna be bumpy and a bit gross for the rest of the day, so that's good. Okay, seeing as Starbucks was closed, I still can't believe that we are gonna go and get a drink that I have been obsessed with this summer. I pray it's still available because I'm having no luck today, apparently. So here we have my obsession of this summer late summer i would say this is the pistachio ice latte from nero it's so good they also do it in a frap with salted caramel as well and it looks unreal but i like the latte it's a bit lighter and when you get it it's like part green part brown at the moment it's just brown i like that it doesn't go like an icky color it just looks like a normal latte but like if you know you know and it tastes delicious Hello everybody i've been avoiding you number one because yesterday my head looked like a hot mess like i am actually i don't know if you can see i am bruised <laughs> i am bruised it actually didn't used to happen when i get botox but now it happens literally all the time and i've also just been pmsing so i've been fully hiding from you because i'm trying to be more posy vibes on this channel and after all of my renovation rants i feel like those of you that are still left deserve some respite. So I've been hiding from you, but I just wanted to jump on quickly because I wanted to show you this skirt that I picked up. I really like it. It fits so nicely. I'm a little bit bloaty right now, so please ignore. <laughs> just being a girl is so fun, isn't it? I'm just like, yes, get this out of the way before my holiday, please. But yeah, anyway, I 
got this denim skirt and I really love it. It's got like a little cross button, like it doesn't just button up in the center, it kind of goes across a little bit. I really like that detail, it's long. I have another denim skirt and it just finishes like a little bit shorter than this and it's not the most elongating which is not great because i am obviously vertically challenged as it is also can we pretend i'm wearing a nice like autumnal shoe i have none with me and it's roasting so i'm already sweating because i decided to put on a jumper for you to give you an idea of like styling during autumn and just how cute the skirt is but it also looks equally nice with the random gym top that i've got on underneath as well but yeah i am loving it so i thought i'd jump on and show you quickly because i feel like this is going to be something that i'll probably wear a fair bit as part of the summer to autumn transitional period whenever that does actually appear but the rest of the order is mainly more summery bits which i will probably show you in the next vlog if you guys want to see it for any of you going on like a holiday and you want to see some <laughs> summer things i mean i'm just going to show you what i'm packing for my vacation in general but yeah does anyone want to see that or shall we just skip it actually i've just done a little online order because autumnal things are finally starting to come into stock so i actually just did an online order of loads of like autumn-y bits and oh for so good so yeah if you don't want to see holiday stuff maybe i should replace it with that yeah let me know what you want to see let me know if you want me to vlog on my holiday let me know anyway i just wanted to show you my little skirt love it i will link it in the info box for you guys please bear with me i will i'll be back with you in one second i just need to take this off <laughs> oh my god what is life also i'm sure no one cares but this is what the skirt looks like if you're wearing just like a normal fitted top on the top i just love it i'm very happy with it i even love the wash but anyway that's probably gonna be it from me for this vlog i hope you enjoyed coming along with me and kind of working out the bare bones of my autumnal wardrobe with me i actually have like i've over the last like week i've developed a good list of things that are very timeless that i want to keep an eye out for that i feel like my wardrobe would benefit from for the autumn winter season so there will probably be a little bit of shopping coming your way very very soon but until then the autumnal nails are probably the closest I'm getting to anything autumn-y any time in the near future. For those of you that aren't in the UK and are not being blessed with a heatwave, probably like, just be quiet, I don't care. But if you're wondering why the UK influencers aren't making autumnal content right now, this is why. I hope you all enjoyed coming along on my week with me. I'm gonna go hide for a couple of days until my bruised little forehead is looking a little bit less green. But I hope you are all having the best weekend and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.